Now, come up, if you will. <laughs> Let's have the kids come up. Good, and stand up, because we want to have you uh, be able to see the video on the screen, and we don't want the table to be in the way. So, we're honoring B. Luxinger, who made these hats. And, and if you heard the music just now, you know, you probably know if you've been here before, that we have the bells play about once a month, and it's always wonderful. But then we had something special, because Jody Morissette ad added a violin over there to make it so pretty. I think it was the sweetest thing. <laughs> So it was like we have our regular church and our regular bells, except we add something else because one person steps up and gives a gift like Jody just did. And that person also was B. Luxinger, who even though our church does lots of things for good uh, to help people all over this community and even all over the world, B. made little hats like these, except she made like a thousand of them at least. And... Uh, People are still wearing them on the streets of Portland and elsewhere, and even in this room right now, if you can see them anywhere around you, right? Even some of you have them. So let's roll the video that honored her on the big news program in our city. I love doing it. It that's, keeps that's me her busy. Voice. If you visit B. Luxinger, there's a great chance you'll find her at her sewing machine. Sometimes some of the people here have something that I have to fix for them. They've ripped it or something. B. is in her 90s. 91. She lives at Avamir at Bethany, just west of Portland. I've been here about five years now. Needless to say, sewing keeps her mind sharp and her hands too. She has amazing energy. Alice Check is Bee's friend. They both attend Southminster Presbyterian Church in Beaverton. Cheers. I've been going there about 15 years, and she's been going there a lot longer than I have. <laughs> the church has a holiday basket program where they collect donations of food and clothing for families in need. For years, Bee has played a special part. If you just had a whole bunch of this, what would you do with it? And she'll make hats for everybody, and we donate them along with the... Uh, food and other goods that we give to the families. The cloth Bee uses is all donated. And this is polar fleece. That's the only thing I've ever used to make hats. All the hats go right back to church. Alice picked up about 20 on Monday. Well, I'll take them to the church because we're starting to accumulate some, some things for some families. And, um, and I want to make sure that they, they get them when they they're at the church when they're ready to be delivered. This is old hat for B. She guesses she's done this for about 20 years and made thousands of hats. With each spinning spool and seam stitched, she knows she's helping both the community and her church family at the same time. It makes me feel good. And I, I love giving my hats away. I like giving them to people. In Bethany, John Goodwin, KGW News. Isn't that the sweetest thing? What are you gonna do in your long life to make the world a better place? Oh, you've already figured it out? Okay, well, you don't have to tell us, but you can show us what you do. And I think it's just the most wonderful thing that we have a chance here to remember her uh, in a very special way. We're gonna be doing that at another time in the service too. But we just wanna right here say thank you, God, for B for her long life, for the wonderful ways she found to make this a more beautiful and comfortable place for your people. Amen and an amen. Okay, thanks for coming up. Whoops. The Greek Testament reading comes from Matthew chapter 4, verses 1 through 11. Then Jesus was led up by the Spirit into the wilderness to be tempted by the devil. And he fasted 40 days and 40 nights, and afterwards he was hungry. And the tempter came and said to him, If you are the Son of God, command these stones to become loaves of bread. But he answered, 
It is written, man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeds from the mouth of God. Then the devil took him to the holy city and set him up on the pinnacle of the temple and said to him, if you are the son of God, throw yourself down, for it is written, he will give his angels charge of you and on their hands, they will bear you up lest you strike your foot against a stone. Jesus said to him, again, it is written, you shall not tempt the Lord your God. Again, the devil took him to a very high mountain and showed him all the kingdoms of the world and the glory of them. And he said to him, all these I will give you if you will fall down and worship me. And Jesus said to him, be gone, Satan, for it is written, you shall worship the Lord your God and him only shall you serve. Then the devil left him and behold, Angels came and ministered to him. The theme reading is from Tucker Max. The devil doesn't come dressed in a red cape and pointy horns. He comes as everything you've ever wished for.
wonderful. Dear God.